Hello everyone, you are welcome to Mom Health Parenting YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Adirami. Today we are going to be talking about something very interesting between us women. We are going to be talking about when can I have sex to get pregnant. Yes, this is an important topic because um, you're, you're hoping for a miracle, you're hoping to have a baby, you want to get pregnant. However, it's not, it's not always straightforward and we're going to be discussing factors that can influence this process or help you increase your chance of having a baby. So, when can you have sex to get pregnant? Most important thing here, or the most important factor that I'm going to be discussing in this video is your fertile window. It's important for you to know your cycle, to know how many days in a month you see your period, three to five days if your cycle length is 26 days. Normal cycle length should be about 21 to 35 days, so it's important for you to know, oh, my cycle length is 28 days, your cycle length is 26 days. It's important for you to have an idea of your cycle length, the number of days within that cycle where you see your period, because this will give us an estimate of when you're likely to ovulate. And so why is ovulation important? It's important because this is when you produce the egg. And the egg has to meet the sperm for fertilization to occur and for your baby to be in the making. So you produce the egg when you ovulate and this egg has a very short half-life. When once the egg is produced, it takes about 12 to 24 hours and yeah, the egg is gone. So it's important for us to maximize this period when the egg will be produced. And so your fertile window usually is um, about four days before you produce the egg and about a day after because the egg doesn't last that long. Why is it this length? The sperm usually lasts for about three to five days. Recent studies have actually shown that some sperm can last between seven to ten days. And yes, yeah, so if you have sex or you make love about seven days prior to your ovulation, yeah, the chances are slim though, but it's possible for you to get pregnant. However, your chances are higher within that window I've discussed. Four days prior to ovulation and then the day after. So it's important. Ovulation day is important. The estimate of when you're likely to ovulate is important if we're going to be increasing our chances of getting pregnant. So how do you know if you're ovulating? You must keep track. Either you're using an app, you're using a calendar method, keep track of your cycle length. Um, for instance, my cycle length is 26 days. And that means I should ovulate between day, approximately day 12. How did I get this? I did 26 minus 14 and so we're giving a constant factor after the production of the egg to be like 14 days so prior to you releasing an egg depending on your cycle length if your cycle length is 28 days you minus 14 that means you're likely to ovulate around day 14. if your cycle length is like almost day 30 and you minus 14 that means you're also likely to ovulate further about day 16. So it's important for you to know your cycle length, to know when you're ovulating. This is also important because this is when you should have sex at least alternate days in order to increase your chances of getting pregnant. You have your cycle length in check. You have an estimate of when you're ovulating in check. Other things that can help you um, also guess when you're ovulating is your mood. Yes, when you're ovulating, your mood should be, your hormones are all high. You should have the desire to have sex. Your libido should be high. And so you know, okay, I think I'm ovulating. You have the desire to have sex. Your mood is right. Your mood is set for this period. Other things will be your basal body temperature. You need to have been monitoring this actually in order to know that, oh, okay, there's a spike in my temperature. I think I'm ovulating. Another thing is your cervical mucus. A lot of women notice that oh, during that period in the month when your libido is high, you have stretchy, sticky, um, whitish discharge. Um, this is important in order to enable the sperm to move and to make the egg in the fallopian tube. All these factors come into play in determining or in increasing your chances for pregnancy. However, if you're not sure about the kind of discharge you're having, please and please go and watch my video on vaginal discharge so you know if it's normal or if it's not normal. So you are tracking your vaginal, muco your cervical mucus, your basal body temperature. You have an idea of, oh, I'm supposed to ovulate this period. Another thing some women do is you can get a predictor kit. Um, this kit tracks luteinizing hormone. This hormone usually spikes when you ovulate or around the ovulation period. And so if you get a positive test, it's important for you to say, oh, I'm ovulating or I'm about to ovulate. And then you can have sex in order to increase your chances of getting pregnant. All these factors come into play. However, way you want to monitor, it's important for you to estimate your ovulation date. To have sex four days prior. When I mean four days prior, I mean you can have, for instance, if you're ovulating on Friday, you can start having sex Monday. 
Wednesday, Friday, and then Saturday, alternate days. The reason why a lot of people opt for alternate days is so as to enable sperm reserve. Um, you don't want to exhaust your partner. You don't want your partner to keep to keep. You don't want your partner to keep ejaculating. You want sperm reserve to be refilled, and you want healthy sperm, especially if your partner's sperm count is not optimal. It's important for you not to always. Um, for your partner to have rest days and then you have sex the other day um yes pregnancy for some people you're really trying and it can be tedious and it can be exhausting however it's important for you to enjoy the process especially if you want your partner to have healthy sperm throughout the month ensure you have sex frequently three to four times a week um during your fertile window you can make it alternate days but ensure you enjoy the process even while trying to have a baby ensure you and your partner are having regular sexual intercourse this is usually the first rule of thumb in in trying to increase your chances of getting pregnant if then you're having regular unprotected frequent sexual intercourse and it's not coming forth then you can then see a specialist or contact your healthcare provider for fertility workup for both you yourself and your partner whichever way i wish you the very best thank you very much thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to share this video. Also, hit the notification button to get more videos like this. You can also visit our website at www.momhealth.com.ng for all maternal and baby products. Guess what? We have a 10% discount for you for all purchases made on that website. Another good news we have for you is you could also visit Google Play Store and download the Mom Health mobile app to explore all our amazing features. Thank you very much.